Hey guys, what's up? Today, what we're making today is apple pie. I just pick all these apples. I have like about a hundred of them. Uh, for my, you guys see in my trees outside. So what I'm making today is a Granny Smith apple pies, and I already peeled a ton of them to, to make the apple pies. And the rest of them is right here. I don't want to peel them all because I don't need them all. So it's so simple to, and very easy to make. Uh, my ingredients are cinnamon and uh, brown sugar, egg for egg wash. And I was going to make my own uh, pie shells, but to make my own pie shells, it would cost me maybe 20 bucks. And if you buy one frozen in the store, it would, this one here, it cost me $4.49. There's two shells inside the box. So why making my own from scratch that I can make it cheaper than making it from scratch. So anyway, let's start making some of our pies. Uh, first of all, this is way too much. I'm just making two pies. So this is way too much. So I'm gonna just put some of them in a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna freeze it. So one day that I'm gonna make more pies. I'm just gonna take this out. There's nothing wrong freezing these pies because you're just making an apple pie. So even though you can make um you can make apple pie, I mean um when if you start you know if, because today I don't have enough time. I'm just making two of them. So I'm just gonna put enough here for two pies. That looks like that's enough for two pies. And this one here is going to the freezer for next time when I decided to make more apple pie. First thing, uh, what I'm gonna do, you don't wanna put tons of the cinnamon. This one here is uh, five ml. You just sprinkle the cinnamon. The cinnamon is to make it, the smell of it when you're baking apple pie, when there's a cinnamon in it, smell really good. Just use one uh, 500 ml and the brown sugar. It's up to you how much you're going to put for brown sugar because, um, again, like myself, I can't really have sugar, so I have to be very careful to put half a cup of brown sugar. And this brown sugar is demerara sugar. I'm just gonna try to mix it. I might need more sugar in this. I'll see what happens. Another, another thing too, guys, yeah, what you can do with your, your making apple pies. And you can uh, boil your pies first to make it quicker um, for making apple pies. So you don't have to bake it as long when you boil your uh, apple pie. I mean your apple first. But I don't really like doing that. I like doing it from, you know, like this. And just bake it for one hour. My oven just went. And I'm baking it for 375 Celsius for one hour. This one is to put on the bottom and the other one is for the top. So I'm just going to put this all in here. You just want to make sure you don't overload your um, shells or otherwise you won't be able to uh, start leaking when you start boiling. Start to leak on the side of it. Just like that. Then the other one. Let's see. I think I'm gonna put more, a little bit more. Because again, when they start touching the top of your um, shells, that means it's good. The 
that's perfect. So what you do, you just pinch the edges, so it'll stick together. Try to get your uh, shells earlier of your fridge or freezer. Just like that. And this one here is there's a crack on the side of it. So and then you need the forks and pinch the edges of this. So I should have stick this up earlier. As I can see, it's still frozen. Just slowly go around the edges and pinch it down. There's two things that you can use for um, for your shells to get it darker when you uh, bake the pie. Like any sweet, like um, like from my work, we have um, it's not egg wash, but egg wash does this the same thing. That's the trick. You see, when you bake it, when you uh, put the egg wash, it makes it shiny. At work, it's like a syrup that we brush to it. Try to make sure that you brush the whole thing. Because if you don't brush it, the whole uh, pie shells, oops. Just mix it more. There you go, just like that. And then you want your pies to breathe when you're baking it. So the reason that you poke a hole in it so your pie is inside uh, your uh, apple will breathe when you're baking it. See, it's still frozen. It's too bad. I will manage to bake it. Hopefully it doesn't open up. But again, make sure you take your uh, pie shells earlier so it's not frozen. This one here, I just took it out maybe five minutes ago. Totally forgot to take it. Okay, that's one done. Now let's make the other one. I'm gonna have to make more, uh, take some more from here. Not enough.
again, it's up to you how much brown sugar you're going to add to your pies. You want it really sweet, add more brown sugar to it. And then add too much of it because I'm not supposed to have sweet. <laughs> well, I can have sweet, but it's not all the time. Perfect amount. And go around it, pinch the edges so those two shells will stick together. I've been making apple pies for so many years, I like making it, and it tastes good when you make it yourself. Sure, it's these two are stick together, otherwise, it will leak when you start boiling inside. When you do this with forks, it's just like giving it a a bit of decoration to it on the edges. You don't really have to do this, but I just like doing it, make it look different. going camping next week <laughs> next week so I'm gonna bring this camping with me going camping with my the rest of my family my brother from the other side the other town so we're done with that <clears throat> now put a hole in so this one is better now because as you can see softer it's not as frozen as the other one so that's it so we'll put this in the oven just like this and we'll bake it for um for an hour so here we go this is ready to go in the oven now for um one hour 375 Celsius, so we're just gonna put them into the oven. And we'll see what happened in one hour. I'll see you guys. All right guys, here it is, our Granny Smith apple pie that we bake for one hour, 375 Celsius, and now it's time for us to have a piece. Let's try this. It's really hot still. <laughs> Just come out. It's very, very hot. See the smoke coming out. That 
anyway, I'm just gonna move this back here. And I have my ice cream here, so ice cream topping. The two scoop. So as you can see, the ice cream is melting now because it's very, very hot. Oh, you're not supposed to be putting the ice cream in the hot pies, but I'm going to try it anyway. Mm, really good so yeah just follow what I said how to make the pies don't make your own dough because it's cheap to buy it and if you guys like what you see please subscribe press like thanks for watching